Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I will be transforming myself into an e-girl and I'm probably gonna end up um, making videos about me transforming myself into different kinds of fashions. Probably not for a long time, but we'll see. I'm just gonna go with the flow. And so let's get right to it. First things first, the outfit. Okay. Now that's done, let's get on with the hair. And I know that they put the hair either in a pigtail or like one of those half pigtail things that go like this. And that's what I'm going to do because this one's kind of just doing too much. I'm gonna use these and put this on here. I know they're not the same thing, but does it really matter? There. No, oh, it's so cute. All right, next I'm going to do my foundation and I'll be using Fit Me, um, Maybelline's Fit Me. Mm -hmm. And of course, spray that bad boy. I haven't opened it yet because it's new. So I've just been using um, BB cream most of the time because I like it. Um, I see people do this or am I doing it right? Ugh, I'm not going to put too much. I'm put it right there. Ugh. Just cons mm. Just cover my face. Ooh. Okay. This is actually my skin color. I'm surprised that I got the right color because I kind of just guess. Don't forget the neck. No. So you. <laughs> so you're not. You're not too toned. For the eyebrows, I'll be using this. I think this is a doe color. Doe color. I don't know if you can see it. It says doe color. But I got this off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. I'll be using Anastasia or Anastasia. And it'll be in the color of medium brown. <laughs> medium brown. I don't want to conceal them. Gosh, I'm too lazy to do it. But I guess I have to. How I conceal my eyebrows, I use this unicorn brush. Do you see how it's slanted? That's what I use. I'm doing this so weird. But there's my brow. They looking good. Next thing, I'm going to go into concealer. We're going to take your water and your sponge or whatever you use. You could be using a brush for all I care. It works the same thing. And pat. Next, I'm going to bake a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to use this um, Revlon translucent. I don't use baking powder much. So, and like, I'm just going to do this. Am I doing it right? Like this is honestly just a cap for a Q-tip box that I have. And like, I can't just pour it all over my face, right? Just cause I see everybody else do it. So I guess I'm doing it too. And I have boxes of stuff. I don't, I don't know what to do with them. I think I could just put it back here somewhere. Okay, it's not gonna work. Okay, actually, we will finish it, but we're just gonna put a little bronzer. I'm using bronzer by e.l.f. And the next, <laughs> so we can finish this thing. We're just gonna scoop that up. Use whatever is left in there. And use it underneath. I forgot I didn't use primer, but I was going to use this primer. W.Lab. I think it's from a Korean company, but my mom gave it. And she bought it, so 
Use primer when you put makeup on, people. Don't be like me who forgets. But yeah. Okay, I only baked for like five minutes just because I'm not gonna wait forever. And so we're just gonna brush all that excess. It still worked, like look at my face. We're finally gonna get on with the eyes. I know you've been dying to see the eyes. Just kidding. I'm going to use the Morphe palette. Um, the 25B bronze mocha. <laughs> it dropped it. I'm not gonna use this palette, but I'm just gonna use this part of it just to have a little primer in my eyes. We're going to use Trendy on Tokyo by BH Cosmetics, and we're going. Well, I'm going to use the color Blossom, and I'm just gonna put it on my piece. And I'm using this deluxe concealer brush, but I'm. It, I didn't use it as a concealer brush. Next, I'm going to be using this NYX's Ultimate. What does it say? Edit. The pink color in there. And I'm going to use this brush. I think it's by Juicy Couture or Couture. I'm not really sure how you say it. And I'm going to use this pink. We're basically just using lots of pink. And I'm going to put it everywhere. I'm going to go back to the BH Cosmetics. I'm going to be using this rainbow. Rainbow? This unicorn one. I have a lot of unicorn makeup brushes. I'm going to use red. I'm gonna, it's in the color fashion. Oh, basically the red one there. I don't know where to put it. Where should I put it? Put it on my crease? Nah, I'm gonna put it on my lids right here. If you can't tell, I'm definitely just doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing, but like it's looking good though, right? Moving on to eyeliner. I'm going to be using Milani's eyeliner. My left eye is looking so cute. And then there's this ugly side. From the far, it looks, it looks okay. As long as it looks okay from the far. It's not like somebody's gonna stare at you for a long time and be up all on your face and be like, let me see if your eyeliner looks good. You know? I'm gonna be using, what are these called again? Fake lashes. These lashes are by Eiler. Eiler. Eilure. While I wait for that, I'm going to curl my brows. No, no, I'm not gonna curl my brows. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm using mascara by Maybelline and it's great lash. I okay. Looking good. I'm going to be using Milani blush it's in the color sunset passion number 15 lots lots of blush i'm going to use this pink yeah that's what we want that's what we want that's definitely what we want okay i did my heart's if you can't tell off camera um the last thing that i'm gonna do is use setting spatter setting spray Ugh. and it's by nyx and i don't want to have a dewy face because my face will get oily and dewy no matter what anyway so matte finish for me and if you have oily face this this is the thing you should use it and Am I taking my face? I think so. That's good. For lipstick, I'm going to be using Milani's. Um, in by Teddy Bear, by Teddy Bear, uh, in the shade of Teddy Bear. And that finishes look. Oh yeah, this is my outfit. And my face is looking good. I'm just gonna turn. Thank you guys for watching. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope to see you guys on the next one.